Arts and Crafting Queens. This is Lisa Lisa from the Cherry on Top and Creative Design Studio. I want to run you through real quickly the pumpkin spice latte collection we've got in plus at Design Bundles. I want to show you real fast the elements and papers in the collection and then I'm going to show you how you can scrap fast with them. What you're looking at now is the sticker sheet. That's in one pack. And then I've got some word art, usually four different ones. Like I said, we'll go through quick. You can always find them in plus pumpkin spice latte. These are the frame clusters. And everything here is designed so that you can scrap and craft really quickly. Sure, these were intended for scrapbooking purposes, but they'll make awesome stickers. Awesome sublimation projects. These are some of the elements. I really like that one. It's a cute little mug. Most of these designs come from Plus, or I did them myself. Everything can be found in Plus. I love this lantern. I love the designer behind some of these. Really cute. Made some adjustments to them. Added some colors and added shadowing and texture and bevels. <laughs> All kinds of different things to change up the designs and bring everything all together in a collection so that you'll be able to scrap and craft real quick. I love these clusters. They make scrapbooking so incredibly easy for many people. They just don't have the time to sit and scrap, even though they love the results of beautifully designed scrapbooking pages. And that's what this collection is here to help with. I love that funky leopard mask. And there's a paper like that too, you'll see. Lovely, eh? Here are some feature design papers. And I have quick pages too. All you have to do is pop in your photos behind there and you're all scrapped. Don't you love that? I think it's a wonderful idea for people who don't have time to scrap themselves. The page is all scrapped up for you. Just add your pretty pictures and you're set. So with each fancy design paper, I turned into a quick page for you. Here's some of the lovely buffalo plaids. These are the design papers. Once again, everything is from plus or I designed it myself. I did use a little bit of texture from Karen Schultz, who you'll also be able to find in design bundles. Some pretty stripes, some more checks. Of course, every fall pack has to have leaves. And I do have a little caffeine twist, which I thought would be really fun. I love to drink coffee when it's starting to get a little cold outside. Nothing warms and soothes the soul better. <laughs> some more chunky plaids. A little bit of like a coffee stain going on there. Some coffee bean paper. Some pretty stripes. The, the, the color palette's pretty cool. It's fairly vintage. Warm and cool at the same time. Kind of digging it. Warm coffee, cool temperatures. <laughs> Let's take a look now at how we can scrap super fast. I just had that blank document there. I'm going to pull in a paper and let's just uh, go for one of the clusters or something. This will look kind of cool with that too. We can put that in there. However you want it. You can put it in the middle. You can put it more over to the side. Try to go in between the beans. <laughs> something like that maybe. Um, there are some frames included. We'll check those out. We'll just pop one of those in there. This is in the elements pack. We can do something just like that. Ta-da! And see how fast that is? For a more realistic look, what you could do is add some shadows. I'll just add some basic shadows over here. Most software uh, scrapbooking programs have shadows for you. And there you go. You put in your picture and you're set. Let's go ahead and do another idea. But see what I mean? In minutes, you can have your scrapbook pages. It's so fun. Let's take a look at a cluster. Let's bring in a cluster. Okay, maybe we'll put it here in the corner. And you can see how big you can go. I did save it 300 DPI. Typically, you want to save things and, and design with things as they are. 
given, but you can play a little bit. See here, I stretched that out pretty far and it still looks all right. What else have I got? I've got a, I got this neat little thing. You could use it as a frame or just use it as some funky paint. I don't know if you want just for a little bit of something extra. You just make even like a little bit of a design paper or something that could be fun. Take these and just place them around. Duplicate your layers. I've got lots of other videos to, to teach you how to scrapbook digitally in the program I'm using now, which is Photoshop Elements. It's a super, super wonderful program. I don't make any money promoting for them. <laughs> I used a couple of programs and I just felt that this one was huh, so easy. Let me look for that coffee scatter. I thought that was kind of fun. There it is. Coffee scatter. Put that in. So check out some more videos if you'd like to learn how to do this because yeah, it's pretty fun. And if you don't have a lot of time, then you definitely want to get clusters and word art and things like that. And then you could scrap really, really super fast. That's kind of fun like that. Maybe we'll put a paper in the back. Let's see. Probably want to pull out some colors here that aren't a main feature. The green would look pretty nice and the bluish color. Let's pop in a few and you can see which ones you like. We'll slide that in and, okay, it's already to the back. So that would be a paper that you might want to use. I think this paper would look quite okay. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That one looks great. We'll put in a beige paper, see what that looks like. <laughs> it's a little busy and I went kind of big with my cluster over there. We'll just put in a bunch of papers. I think they all look pretty okay. What do you think? <laughs> you don't want to go with too busy of a paper. But here you can see the different papers. Even that one's okay. It starts to get a little busy though, if you know what I mean. So there's another page and then you could take your um, picture. Let me go ahead and, oh well, we can always just go over here. Let's go ahead like this and we'll duplicate the layer. And then I'll just give you an idea for some picture placement, just in case you wanna place a picture or several pictures, of course, however you wanna do it. We can make some invisible. Maybe we'll just work with this one. You could put one really nice big picture. It all depends on how many pictures you have. If you want to show off a lot of pictures or just a couple, there you go. You could do just one big picture like that. Maybe some pretty fall scenery. Or if you have several pictures, you could just take your little spot. All I did was duplicate the background, right? That's all I did to get this square. And then it's going to be really super simple for you to take your picture, slide it in, and crop it over the top. Okay, and then something like that, like this, and then maybe you want one more on the side. I don't know. Some people really like to crowd in a lot of photos. And what's neat is you could work on the layers and you could put things behind it. You know, if this was all just one big design paper, you'd have to put it over it, which is not terrible. It's really not a big deal, but yeah. Okay, you could do it like that. You could take these and make these a little bigger and stretch them out. See, there's so much you can do, but look, there you go. Okay, let's just say we're gonna stop there. And that would be a page. You could take it further. <laughs> we can put a shadow behind that to make it stand out a little more. Play with shadows and see which ones you like. I think I'd like something with a, a little larger shadow like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Well, I kind of like that one a little better. Okay, and what you could do here, let's pull out some more colors. Pulling out the colors. When you use too many colors, you can get a really busy look. There you go. And then you could plop those in and then you could have like a matting, right? You know what I mean by a matting? Let me just show you. We use that as a matting. I'm going to put this over the top of it. It already is. And then you could do something like this. You can make it a little bit like a, a frame like that if you want. See, that's so much you can do, right? And just a couple of clicks. Look at there. You could have that kind of frame if you want. Or you could just have regular matting. And that would look like this. And then you would crop your picture in and you're set. See how we use the same colors? Well, everything is coordinating, so you can really make gorgeous pages fast. And that's all I wanted to show you. Take a look at the lovely Pumpkin Spice Latte collection and show you how to use the clusters and the word art. Thanks so much for checking out the cherry. Happy designing!